start building an Adirondack chair, one needs two uh, side rails like this, one bottom back rail, ten seat slats, some of which are straight on the edge, some of which are at a bevel. And the next step we will be uh, putting some of these together. Now we have the back slat in place and then seat slat number four in place with one screw. Now we'll uh, use a square to uh, see if, the, if things are square. This appears to be. <coughs> Let's try this side. And uh, that appears to be pretty good also. So now we'll uh, add uh, another set of screws to uh, hold it in this position. of the seat slats in place, uh, these four, and we just space them evenly and put the second screw in everything so this part is done and now we'll put the ones on the front. Now that all the slats are in place, even around the front, and we have nice curve here and good feeling uh, slats for the uh, chair, uh, base of the chair. Now we'll uh, start to put on some of the legs. Now we are attaching the front legs with screws. First we countersink the hole. And we add the screws. sunk and uh, we've held it in place with some clamps. The next step is to secure the middle back slat and have it centered so that the others can be spaced uh, appropriately to the side. Next, secure the side slat And then put uh, the next two slats in place in order to uh, get them uh, positioned correctly. Now we fill in the other two slats uh, and uh, secure them with one screw for now and then we'll come back and put another one in later. Then we will uh, move to the other side and uh, repeat the process there. Now we can see what the uh, back will look like in the seat and the general shape of the chair. We just put in the rest of the screws in the back slats and then uh, we'll need to uh, put on the armrests and I think we'll have a chair. Now the last step in assembly is to put the armrest in place. We do this with uh, several screws and uh, when we're finished it's nice and solid. Now we'll take uh, a wood rasp and uh, some sanding and uh, smooth these out. 
I'm uh, doing some final shaping of uh, spots that are a little rough with the wood grass. And uh, then we'll take a sanding block and get those surfaces nice and smooth. have an armrest that feels just uh, very, very smooth. The next step uh, will be to put spar varnish on it and we'll move inside to do that. To uh, finish the chair we're using uh, spar varnish that's rated for exterior and uh, it's a pretty good uh, UV rating on it. We're hoping that it will uh, protect the cedar from oxidizing and turning dark as it tends to do. Notice how the spar varnish brings out the beautiful colors in the cedar and then it's our hope that uh, in supplying this that uh, the cedar will retain its vivid colors and not turn uh, to a gray. So we'll put several coats on it and uh, hope for the best.